Um. Um. And welcome to the Ultimate Podcast. It is May twenty seventh. If you are somehow watching Wait, this in the fu- future, Ted already beat me to it. Oh yeah, Ted did it. I was about to say. Uh, sorry, continue. What were you saying? About uh, if you're somehow watching in the future, uh, we are still in quarantine. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. Is it amazing? Can't wait. What's it amazing about it? It's never gonna stop. I'm gonna go back to work. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wasn't gonna say this, but I'll... the tension is air in the public. It, yeah. In the, the public eye. Oh my god. I don't know uh, if you're not living in a city, but just me getting on the bus, I saw a man and a woman screaming at each other and I was like oh they're probably you know like couple and then I walked past and they're like this town mask yada 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 like they're both wearing masks and it's just like oh god and I get on the bus and then this dude gets on without a mask and then the whole bus heckles him off the bus hell yeah let's then, go that's what we need that happens and I'm like wow okay that was, that was cool and then the woman behind me just as that says literally it screams Fuck this! I'm getting the fuck off! Open the fucking doors! And the doors open, and then she's like, You're all gonna fucking die! And then walks off. No, you're gonna die. Jesus Christ. Shut up, lady. (laughs) What are crazy things happen to you on the bus all the time? I mean, how many times are you in the bus? I feel like the bus just, if you go in the bus any amount, you'll get that shit. I would never see that much crazy shit. I I rode the bus every day. uh, Not as much as Patty sees, though. That's true. 8 p.m. 66 is a different time. I was always a morning rider. I think that's why. Yeah, nobody wants to do anything. In the evening, they're all tense. Mm. The morning, it's like they're still zombie state going to work. Mm -hmm. In the evening, they set a stressful day. It's hot now. Their their wife wants them to come home. Yeah, I haven't seen as much interaction since uh, this world. (laughs) I I saw a video on Twitter of a of someone getting heckled out of a uh, Long Island supermarket. In a, in a similar yeah, vein. That was, that was so wild. Sick. That was, that was, that was like that in Island. Sat in Island, was it? Right. Poifit. <laughs> in Island in uh, New York. Mm. And uh, they were just like, oh. But I was like, that's so cool. I wish we, you know, that's what a good, like, yeah, fuck that guy. So hearing that, let's go yeah. Austin. <laughs> let's go. That's fucking sick. You know, <laughs> posted on Twitter.com. Mm. If you post on Twitter, there. I'll see it. <laughs> post it, it'll, it'll make its way to me. Mm-hmm. So fucking yeah, people are dumb. Do but not, do not, uh, yeah. But people are maybe dumb, Mike. Okay. But they would surely never bring back melee events already. Well, that's what you're wrong. At Mark. this time. Because some dipshit. Well, friend, friend, friend of the podcast. Who really? Friend of the podcast. Eh, friend of the podcast. You'd be dumb and like me. I like a lot of people who are dumb. Yeah, I mean, to be dumb is a little better than dipshit, don't you think? Ah, uh, slightly. <laughs> Dipshit's funnier than dumb. Is <laughs> hey, is it HTTPS colon slash slash? Well, gold, what the hell do I know that? What do, you want, what do you want me to look up? Is that what it is? I think so. Let's just hope I it is. I don't know so, though. <laughs> I'm going to add everyone. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Good job. <laughs> Pog. Uh, who is this now? Why are they doing a thing in Rhode Island? Is it Rhode Island? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm like trying to get right into the sauce, are you? Yeah, well, we already talked about how people are dumb. So let you know. Segue. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you know what's weird? Segways are like a very like as a term, it's like to you know like very coyly and you know nicely like go into the next topic. Mm. Segways don't do that. Segways are not. Argue that functionally they do. I mean, I would argue against it. You, you could argue for that, but I would say no. It's they really they really don't do much. You're, I say you're catching attention if you're riding a segway. Yeah. No matter what. It's not doing. like a very like oh. To go from here to Burger King, I was going my slick little <laughs> segue. <Same way. laughs> well, I mean, okay, but if you lived in like a fucking, or if you work in like an industrial compound, if there are people that are like a fucking five minute walk away or something, you can just thirty seconds just over fucking there. Just fucking skateboard. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that I'm cooler. saying it's not cool. It's not cool, but functionally, it is better. Is segueing worse or better than ha- using a scooter? Worse. You think it's worse? Worse. I don't know. Scooters what, are pretty bad. What worse. about not even the Segway, that one wheel thing that everyone has right a now? A unicycle. Louisville rides that. Oh! No, it's not even a unicycle. Oh. Does he really? Awesome. That one, like, I'm pretty sure she does yeah. that, too. Yeah. It's a big it's a, wheel in the it's, middle. It's, a, it's, yeah. like, it's like a enemy from Kirby. It's just <laughs> it a, just a wheel Kirby, and a face, and you just fucking ride it. Like um, I'd say that's better than both a scooter and a... Every time I see it, I'm like, he's so light. He's so cool. He's so light. He's so cool. Lay down the facts about the one wheel thing. 
God, that thing's cool. But nerds just like it. Nerds do just only like ruined it. by nerds. Is it functional? Like, like, do you fall off it less? Well, it's a, it's like a skate. It's like a skateboard, but it's on a wheel. It's just another it self balances. Yeah. It's like that fucking shitty dumbass hoverboard that everyone had like a few years mm-hmm. ago that fell off, thank God. But it's just the technology is just like gotten better. That yeah. Is. And the one wheel helps it so it's not fucking Yeah, like well, fuck the fucking jittery. Fuck, God, I hated those. When I was younger, my friend had a Segway. Mm-hmm. I don't know if his parents had like a Segway or was this like motorized Segway vehicle. And he's like, You wanna try it? I'm like, Hell yeah. Uh revved it way too quick, it flipped over, I fell down, then it hit me in the head. Wow. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been the same, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was cool. Anyway, some dumb idiot. What are we talking about? <laughs> Rhode Island, right? <laughs> Trying to get pull people out of their homes. That was a so, segue, segue. Uh, we yeah. talked about the segue in our segue. So Florida memed on everyone. What does Florida do? I wasn't aware of Florida, that. Florida memed. Florida was like, hey, we're hosting a 128-person invite tournament. Right after Hungrybox was like, hey, if the Orlando thing hit me up and was down to host events. You know, Disney World or whatever. Disney World slid into my DMs. I'm hungry, box. The, the problem <laughs> with the, the meme, though, was that the meme wasn't very clear. <laughs> that was the best part about the meme, in my opinion. I mean, it was definitely bait. But like, that's it, a funny meme. It was, yeah, it was, it was very deep. It's like, it looks so like, real. There's, there's just one Florida, and it's an, it's an ultimate thing. There's just one Florida ultimate player who like has been doing really fucking well in all the online uh-huh. events, who hasn't had, who doesn't have any results like on land, like comparable. To his online events. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And he's uh, also a TO, pretty sure. Like um, God's yeah. Go. He's yeah. also like yeah, he's also a TO for he's the, the ultimate three. God's Go. The ultimate yeah. God's Go. Yeah. Kind of like if it's it's like Paddy God's Go Goblin. It's like, like, it's like <laughs> the, the, Goblin. the Pokemon line. Yes. But anyway, um, he's posted a picture being like, and it's called it's called like on Gob, <laughs> and it's like on Gob twenty twenty, a hundred twenty eight entrance. Invite only. Like, on God. Like, well, it's pretty good. <laughs> see you there. When I saw it at first, I was like, because I was in the know of it, I was like, dumb idiot. What? I was like, what? They really are stupider. Like, I've always had these <laughs> positions, but like, damn. <laughs> they really fucking are. <laughs> and they get Chroma, like, replies to it, he's like, melee side of it, anybody? Oh, <laughs> yeah, see, see, see. And uh, the funniest part of this whole thing was their date was June 15th. <laughs> Oh, and that's everyone's very mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Rhode Island comes out, and we're like, "Hey, we're actually hosting an event June 1st. Oh God! And then I went into the Nerds channel in Discord, and I was like, "Hey, is this the first fucking event ever?" And then they were like, "There's this event in Florida, but other than that, yeah." No, oh, <laughs> that wasn't. Yeah, that, that hadn't <laughs> happened oh, yet. <laughs> And it's, they're like, this event in Florida is crazy. And then everyone's just like shit talking Florida. And then I come in like, "Hey, Rhode Island's hosting an event," and everyone's like, "Huh." Okay. It, quick, quick cyber on the nerds. Ambi, amazing video. Oh, fuck. God, that I watched fuck. the shit out of that. What is that? That fuck. was a fun fucking video. Yeah. Ambi uh, Sinister put out a video that's like, uh, if you've ever watched like sports. Well, it's mainly it's mainly stats. Okay, mainly stats. My and I think Ambi was the main producer, and then like the whole gang are like working on it together. Yeah. If you ever watched like a sport video about like here's this one drive in 2007 and why it's so yeah. important, like it's kind of like that. But it's sick. It's like, here's this one set at Evo, Plup versus uh, Prince of Boo. This is why it's the weirdest set ever. Yeah. And here's my 30 minute video on it. It's tight. It's like your exact, I'm sure, Ted, it's like the exact style you would appreciate this. It might be your perfect mm. storm of like narrating and like a passion you have <laughs> as far as like a good content to watch. Damn. I hear like 30 minute smash content though, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can take to be breaks. fair, I'm pretty sure it's 20 minutes. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. It's ten percent less. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like it though. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Everything's different. Not Thirty percent. That's how it's edited. <laughs> the editing stylings of. Uh, that sounds dope. All right, we've been beating around the bush. What is your take on Rhode Island, New England being the first place to host a real melee event, and possibly the entire world since Corona? I have not found another event at anywhere. So my. And if, if they existed, they just kept existing. My uh, my take on this is pretty simple. I really like Ron Rigo. He's a sick guy. For the sure. T- T.O. of the event. T.O. of the event. Owner of the venue, I think? For the, no, where the, but where the owner doing? of the organization. He runs a bunch of tournaments that aren't just Smash or Melee related. Mm-hmm. So he runs like a, like tabletop games and other video games, fighting games, whatever, out of Rhode Island. Makes a living off it, pays his rent doing it. 
and like you know obviously has been uh simping on the tl <laughs> is that true no not not like really i, I know what you mean yeah it's just wants, definitely been, w- w- wants it yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's oh, okay. out of business you know what i mean yeah he's made it clear yeah. that this is a that, that definitely no. sucks for him you <laughs> know what i mean so it makes sense that he, why he's motivated to do it but it's just not smart no it's just not a good move bro. i go as yeah. far as to say it's disrespectful uh, no, I don't know. But that's not the right word. But be- I will say, best thing I saw. I think it's just ignorant. Out of the event, yeah, I, I agree. Just with read that. all sorts of things. Best thing I saw out of the event, and something I don't think anyone mentioned in the whole like, how do we host events while, while this is happening? Because we t- had that conversation at the beginning of quarantine, mm-hmm. uh, and he's like, hey, if you come in this venue, you can't leave. Yeah, I, like, I saw you that. You are set. here forever. No, no, no. until <laughs> till, till, till the event, till we, you're either you leave or you're the yeah. event's done. There's no re-entry, to yeah. this, which makes complete sense. He's like, bring food here if, if you want food, because you can't leave. And now I, I that's... Wait, I don't get it. Why is that better? It's, yeah, it's well, hard. It's well, not. You're not really. Well, you come in, you, just, you come in, and then they know that like, you're, you're here, you're not going to be going anywhere else, I guess. As far as like, you're not going to be like... You're still in an enclosed space with... I'm with that. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I, 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 The I mindset's there. I, well, like, imagine now, like, to come to your event, like, so if I'm, if I'm the host... And someone's coming from their house to my house. That at least means that ideally, that's the, if they are clean there, we are clean here. That's a that's a one way transit. We're good. No one's getting infected. Now they come to my place and they go, okay, cool. I'm gonna go outside smoke a cigarette. I'm gonna go over to subway. Mm. Now we get more exposure, and now more people are at risk. Both you are at risk for doing that yourself, and you're bringing that risk into my venue. So I, I see the idea. I think it's a good idea. People are just going to get food before, though. Yeah. I mean, True. It's not like people aren't going to do the things they need to do. They're just going to do it before. Before they go. After. And then yeah, back, change and the order. come back no. next week. It's a good point. I, I definitely think Sark's in the right spot. but uh, Yeah, like, I, I totally get it from Ron's perspective, <clears throat> but it's just, it's not, you know, it's ignorant. Yeah. It's not the and if you're thing. unaware of all the rules, it's 14 cap. And there's one other thing. They're, tr- they're doing a six feet. Apart, it's so silly. Which I think is the funniest thing ever. Like, it is. like that's the way to do it. <laughs> but the idea of me sitting down to play my tournament set, six feet <laughs> away from the CRT, and then six feet away from my opponent, and then also six feet away from the nearest set. <laughs> yeah, round <Rowdy> band. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. It's, it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I don't know. Isn't it obvious if you have hey, to put keep all your hands six feet apart? <laughs> fist bump. Oh, you can't no. fist bump. <laughs> uh, isn't it? You think that if you would have to make all these rules and, and restrictions, that you probably should just do the thing in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. I, don't know. I mean, I personally like so. Number one, if you guys have any answers for me, would there be a worse play? Like, as far as the world goes for Corona, or war, the U.S. for Corona, like pretty bad spot to do it. I think. For, mm-hmm. like, reopening first. Like, if, it, if the first tournament in recorded, you know, Corona mm-hmm. history is, like, in <laughs> Louisiana, and it's, like, our... You know, our no, some, Louisiana's got a bad... What, uh, what? <laughs> really? That's very funny. Whoops. <laughs> some, some, some nonsense state, I don't care about. Oh, Idaho. Indiana. There we go. Idaho. Minneapolis. Idaho is, is fucking like, hey, we're bringing back the college we believe. It's mm-hmm. fine. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, maybe that's fine. Yeah. Rhode Island, just, it's got Providence. It's... In, you know, it's in radius of Boston. Mm-hmm. Like, we we're, we're, we're really hit pretty hard. Mm-hmm. So, is there any like you know, like worse places it would be? Like, I think it's a pretty bad spot to have. New York, 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 New <laughs> Unknown Chinese player from Mulan. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's the here. Too bad. Overall, my opinion is uh, don't host events, just host net play stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we like can us. live. Us. <laughs> but he needs I mean, hey, like, I, I'll say this. One time I posted in Rhode Island Melee promoting our Amano event, and mm-hmm. then I got very flamed by Braun saying, hey, we're hosting our own event. And then he posted. For Monday? Yeah, and then he posted, hey, we're hosting an online event. And then it got three entrants. 
Your car. And then asked hey, me to all please three stop. Of you. And then asked me to please stop posting in Rhode Island Melee about promoting Really? Money Grant. And I was like, whatever, dude. You can have the stage. Wow, I don't like him. No, it's fine. I mean, I get where he's coming from because he's also okay, freaking maybe. out. Yeah, and to be yeah. fair, I previously reached out to him like, hey, like, you know, with the possibility, like, can we, you know, get the TOs together to host like a net play event to, to benefit the scene? And all of them were like, yeah, just do it. Shut the I'm fuck trying up. to link you guys together here. <laughs> I'll run the tournament, but you guys gotta like create the vision here. And they're just like, no. I was like, okay, fine. I will just host a fucking net play events, I guess. I'm, I'm not the creative director here. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I just hey, had an idea. Like, like you yeah. want to do it? Like, you just yeah, give it, yeah. give it a name, I'll, and like, give us, give me two images. I'll make we're good. You a smash <laughs> GG page and a donation <laughs> link. Just build the vision. Yeah. Oh man. And then nothing happens. So I don't know. I thought. Uh, you know what I mean? It. I do. Like, Never ever meant anything more. Oh my god. Take the floor. Chat was cool. your opinion. <laughs> uh, on that, so like, we, we're all in agreement we wouldn't go to the... We, if, if we were in Radius... Oh, I'm going. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Take the tea there. <laughs> I'm going to do an all gas, no breaks. <laughs> I'm, go to the I'm actually filming content going funny. to it. Wait, that's a great idea. If Rattle wasn't far, it would be. Bro, do a Vice documentary. I'm going. Oh right. my god! Patty, you, you have go? a car? I'm so we down. You can take the T. I have nothing else to do. You can take the commuter rail there. You can. You can. You can. We you can, can ride right now. Bro, we just talked all this sh- One, One a cameraman and one person just <laughs> taking up two entrance. <laughs> that is awesome. But hey, so I'm, uh, how? Fuck. So here you are. I'm, uh, what do you normally go at a tournament, sir? Oh, two. Oh, cool. So you already thought this was a good place to go for you, huh? It's like, yeah, yeah, I really want to get the land practice in. How much value have you been playing? You get so many views. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great idea. It's contemporary. It's fucking... Right, well, think about it. This will be for off the pie. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll make up the YouTube, though. Subscribe to the YouTube, too. <laughs> Please. This whole time, I, th- I pictured us as soon as like the conversation started. You know the uh, picture of the three white like kids? Literally, every time we do this, this is what I think. Is what you think of? Yeah. yeah. Is Fortnite actually overrated? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the worst. Because it's, 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 you've seen this picture, Ted? I love this picture. Yeah. I, I love it too, but it's like, we just get a group of fucking white guys, just like, yeah, we're not that different. We're funny though, so it's different. We have our us. spin on things. Uh, the difference is the subject matter. We'll talk. <laughs> if we're talking about like bullshit melee, it's like cool, but if it's like, you know, should US open again? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, it's just not sucks. us. Uh, Red. So yeah, I'm not going yet, no. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. What's next? Do they have media passes? You think? <laughs> we'll make one. I'll make one. Dude, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, Rhode Island. Well, if they go or not, best of luck to you. Excited to hear from what the, that event's like. Yeah. My girlfriend's gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wear your mask and you're fucking invincible. All right, that's all right. Here. What do we got? Uh, well, Mike's Patty. Strong. <laughs> it's funny you mention it because we got something that you wanted to bring up. Hi, friends. So, um, related to Ambi Sinister making a YouTube video off of you know some other narrative ass content with sports, I've been on the hunt, wanting to make new YouTube content. <laughs> In a watch mojo type fashion. And that sounds awful. But I promise the vision is way better than it on paper. I think it sounds great. Awesome. <laughs> as, as, as a watcher of watch mojo. I fuck with the vision. And you still watch watch mojo. I, would say, I don't watch occasionally. Any, I don't watch. It's, it's, it's good. I don't watch it. Yeah. What are you doing there? Stop that. <laughs> I don't actually watch <laughs> any watch mojo. Rock. But I watch. What? Like, I watch like some like MMA top ten ass content. Oh you gotta watch some, watch mojo. And they're, they're all in the same vein. Anyway. Well, they're great. I have stumbled upon a topic which interests me, and I don't think many people talk about, and that is the quickest rise to the melee top. Uh, I think the the first player that a lot of people come to mind is IBDW, just because he's kind of like, oh my god, you know, started off and then got somewhere. But in my mind, in terms of the top, I think it's a an argument between three people. It is IBDW, Zane, and then Mango. I think that's the top tier. I think there's a tier right below them, which I consider like a dark horse, which is like <laughs> Leffen and Hacks. I think they have an argument. Um, Hacks what year? Hacks started in 2010. Is his first? No, earlier than that. It's like 2008. MLG was his first tournament. Um, but the the early rise, not not the recent rise. Yeah, the early rise to which he became top ten with the pumps in about four years. Some would argue he he's done it twice. He has. Yes. Who? Hacks. Yeah. 
But the reason I provide all this content is to say that this is not just quick as bump. You know, it's not like, oh, I played the game forever. And then I was like, I was not ranked forever. And then suddenly I'm 20. Yeah. You know, uh, this is an argument of who, you start out and you just get to the top the quickest. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, really cool for this argument specifically, because essentially, do you think making it to the top uh, in the current era is harder than making it to the top in the previous era? In the Ken era, um, kind of like at the end of that, where it's just like, oh, these are the best people in the world. And suddenly that's not a thing where Mango comes in. I, so my right off the bat, so we're talking about zero to one hundred, mm -hmm. real quick. So like, I don't know when Cody started going to locals or like playing more like weekly stuff. Yeah, it doesn't mean you've. So tracked. the way that I'm considering this is, it's. I really think your first out of region tournament is kind of the start of your competitive career. But then it kind of gets murky, so to where like, oh, I played, you know, I played at home forever and then never made it out. Cyrox is a really good example of this. Mm -hmm. Someone who just like was like, I am never traveling out of my state until I become number one in fucking Colorado. Albert, and, Cyrox. But, but Albert's also a really good example. But Albert's kind of different, where Albert didn't even go to tournaments in Texas. But then he, he just played with competitive people. Yeah. But then he went to tournaments for a while in Texas. Yeah. Before he even traveled out of Texas. Exactly. And there's a meme for Albert where it's like, oh, this guy's been playing two weeks and he's already number two in Texas. Well, there's a he made a Facebook post. That's the thing about Albert. Is he beat, it was probably Ark at the time. Um, he beat Ark in a set. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this is my second tournament and I beat the best player in Texas. Is this, uh, you know, Mars, whatever, whatever. Like, this is how I did it. He made, like, a Reddit post. Like, I did this. Like, his training regimen. Like, uh -huh. he's like... I like Albert a lot. But it's, Isn't it he the same pretty, guy uh, that beat H-Box? Yeah. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of people here um, in this in our region that uh, don't go out of state a lot that are really good, I think. And I think we could probably say that about every region. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if mm -hmm. first major out of region is really a, a super... Uh, yeah, I don't, it I, might I don't be. like it. Oh, well, I would also say that to further discredit the first re uh, major out of region is that you know we live in a region that doesn't have that, that you know in the past and not have that major. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where like if your first major out of if your first major is in your region, like if you live in California, yeah. NorCal yeah. or SoCal, like. Your brain yeah. tournament could very well be in your same state. <laughs> New Jersey, if you have Apex, could very well be in your same state. Yeah. So, my problem with IBGW, or with all of them, and that, like, I don't know. And it's just so murky. And it's like, IBGW, I know, was, like, PR'd before any of the stats that, like, you're looking at, like, has him recorded. You know what I mean? Like He's, uh, I have it all here. His yeah. first, he, he was first ranked in New York in 20, uh... Fall 2016. Fall 2016. That was his first. So it was in his first big enough tournament to get recorded is in 2015, okay. where he got ninth. And that is at We Tech Those, and that's like that's his first uh, tournament over a local. This thing's pretty good with picking up tournaments even back then. Does that have Nebs on it? At well, all? what is this thing just for the uh, for the podcast? Like, would, would you consider Nebs like a local? I wouldn't. Yeah. Like there would are a lot not? of Nebs that. That's a local. I don't know, but they were like super nebs, like the weekend ones. I mean, the weekend ones. Uh, I mean, I can see that this better is a better argument for it not being. Yeah. But I mean, I would still consider it a local, as far as by definition. But I mean, even then, in uh, in twenty sixteen, he was ranked eleven. So like even in, in, in New York City. Yeah, in New York City specifically. Or tri-state. NYC. They didn't have a tri-state. Tri-state's a, a recent development. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Cody's obviously the art. I think I personally put Zayn at number one, um, and I think I think him starting out in 2014 makes it a little bit murkier. But the fact that his first ranking is in 2016 and he's 66, and then his 2017 he's 41, and then in the same year that's 2017 summer he gets to 22. So that's essentially like three years of playing, and he's already. 22 and then becomes 10 the next year. Mm -hmm. I, I I think he's the number one there in terms of like rising to the top because I personally value like I think it's way fucking harder to become uh, the top now. of the game yeah. as opposed to like you know beating Ken in the in the ages where Ken's falling off, Adam's falling off. I think you'd be hard pressed to argue against that. I don't know. Uh, I have an argument against that. Yeah, for sure. But um, I will say Zayn's got that sweet sweet 
story, that thing we all cling on to, which is the the doc kid. Mm-hmm. Watches a documentary yeah. and then fucking gets there. Insane. Yeah. Just just four years about it. three three or four years to yeah. like to live to live he's beating KJH and Ginger of Roy. Mm. Not multiple times, but like has done it mm. on net play. Also three good ass actresses. This but is like, yeah. But um still, still has done it. Yeah. That's insane. Has one had one shine. Twenty eighteen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Like yep. that's it's definitely a fucking come up. And I remember uh, one of the things people always talk about, which I, I also love about Zane as a fact, is that his first win on the PR, his first top 100 win that he got, was not in his region. He never beat Red or Milkman or whoever in his region, who have got top 100. Like, you know, oh, like, yeah, this was a thing in MDV for he, a while. He, yeah. he never beat any of them, but he goes to Big House and he beats fucking Plup. Insane. Yeah, I remember his, that. His first win was a top happened. ten player. Yeah, there's a phone video of it. Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Fucking. It's bad that both both those facts are like you know that those scream that immediate shoot up. <laughs> well, MDVA, there was one PR that had it, but it it was like this MDVA for a while where like, um, his results like out of region were so much better than in region. Like there was like five people I think ahead of him or like Ooh, somewhere in that range. Yeah. Like, Three to seven ish people in front of Zane uh-huh. on the like MDBA PR, and then he was in front of all of them on like the <laughs> MIOM. Like, yeah. yeah. Qu- quick, quick sidebar about MV- MVDA. Yeah. I, I MDBA. MDBA. Yes. Mm-hmm. Once again. Like Maryland and then Virginia. Crazy region. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, to me, they've always come across as like kind of like a toxic in group. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this way about them too. Well, they're spread out. That's that's not what the angle is. It's not about you know. It's uh-huh. like it's as far as the top of it goes. Oh, I see. Not not about top heavy. We we're definitely those in group region as we have the mm-hmm. most states of the mm-hmm. cluster of uh, area. The but no, no. But like I don't know. I feel like I've always heard stories about like the panelists and stuff just being very biased towards their own like players that have had there forever and like not really like letting any other people based on results. So I think a. I think a part of NDVA getting the toxic spotlight is because of them having the biggest tournament Gimmer. series. Yeah, Gimmer. I was gonna say Chuda <laughs> and Gimmer. <laughs> well, that, that that counts too. But the fact that like the fact that they have the biggest platform and had it for so long, I wouldn't say they really have it right now. But they they absolutely like the birth of it. They had it. That yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. Mainly and um PM too. Exactly. Exactly. I used to fantasize about maybe going to fucking. I remember watching. Uh, Fucking Xanadu being like, damn, that's where that's where you go, dude. Yeah. That's the fucking spot. Yeah. There's that one kid who fucking they're they're on stream, he like unplugs his opponent's controller. Oh uh, yeah. I met that a... dude. Super cool dude. <laughs> the dude is a douchebag in that video. Oh what you think what's his tag? Fortune or something? Yeah, it is yeah. fortune. Dude, that dude's a homie. He's like, oh yeah, that was just just call me the bad day. But what what the fuck? I mean, maybe it was just a bad day. But also, he was totally like normal about the whole thing. No, what it was, it was it was Fortune (laughs) versus like Uh, a puff player. Um, uh, I can't remember. I thought he was the puff player. No, he was the fuck. No, he was the fuck. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. The 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 point was that he he had unplugged the other guy. The other so the the point is set. It's a fox puff set. I'm pretty sure. And the. one of the players unplugs their own controller by accident, and Fortune. Yes, yes. Fortune unplugs the controller by accident, and then the other the opponent is like, "Oh my god, pause. how unfortunate!" Pause, and then plugs his controller. The other guy and goes, "Hey, you know, you pause the game. That does break the rules. So take a stock." And the guy who pauses is like, "Dude, it's very funny. Dude, sick joke." Yeah, <laughs> and then he's like. I mean, he talked to a TO. <laughs> I, I, you need to, and it was on and stream. Someone too. flames him. Oh, I remember. It was Omni. No, Ooh. fuck you. I was, I was so. Oh, I thought we were. Was it was Omni, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I don't like Omni very much. <laughs> Blocked on Twitter. I also so I think I think uh, I think MDVA is toxic, but I think if like fucking Michigan had that stream, it'd be even worse. Dude, Just hearing, yeah. Oh, true. Grime PR. Yeah, the grime PR oh, yeah. in Michigan was. <laughs> that shit was actually like, oh my god, and then then fucking. Uh, Rob got his own fucking what's his name? Uh, Jungle, Jungle guy. guy. Yeah, Jungle Guy got his own yeah. fucking grind PR. Jinx. Chudat's got one too. Or it's, it's the Chudat Chronicles. It's not the it's not the grind PR. But uh, it's not grind. That's 
There's a lot. Of, there's, I mean, it's just a bunch of shit. But the grind was on it, like the electricity fee. That's tight. <laughs> See, you're Steve. That's so sick. It's funny. <laughs> you know about that? It's so funny. Tell, but tell, it's awful. Tell, tell, tell it to the, uh, uh, the So, way back when Trudat was hosting, I think, locals in his house, he would charge an extra $5, I think, for as an electricity fee. Yeah. For, for, it's, like, it's like venue fee. Yes, but I think it was but on it, top it, of venue yeah, fee. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Like, well, like, well, you know, the venue is for the space. And we're kind of doing a lot of power of the CRTs, so I could just get a little more compensation. My bill per month, it's like pretty hot. <laughs> Speaking of, my, I just need some money, guys. When we uh, when we go to Rhode Island, we have to pay eight dollar venue fee because of quarantine. Oh, that that cancels it all. Okay. It's higher because it's quarantine, and there's less people going. Well, it's an, it's an invitational. Oh, okay. It's capped at fourteen entrance. So it's capped at fourteen entrance. So it's, it's, it's kind of a high roller offer. event, you know. That's so. Stupid. Anyway, rope it all back. Uh, Dumbass. <laughs> IBDW, Zane, or Mango? What's your list? It affects how I make this video. You didn't talk about Mango at all. I didn't, because I'm. you're going to go last. Do oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you think I have a bias? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> what? Don't you? worry, Ryan. I knew where you stood. I don't know. Probably Zane, Mango, IBDW. Uh... Lesson. So you think the come up now is way harder than I that? think that Zane's is just maybe it's just recency bias yeah. for me. But cool little fact. Um, Ooh, cool tiny fact. IBW's fact. first out of tournament is is uh, Smash SmashCon 2016. Out of tournament? Out of region. My bad. Out of region tournament is SmashCon 2016, which is the same point where Crush is already really fucking good. Mm. And uh, Crush 2 Zane at that tournament. And like oh, fucking big house 2016 was Zane's come up. Yeah, that yes. was the big house. That yeah, so this is before he was even a name. Okay. He was kind of a name already. He no. was ranked in MBVA. I no, but, no, but not, not in the Vader had, sense. I think he had beaten Levin already. No, I don't think it was. No, no, it was definitely it, it was it was Smash big house. Splash. Big house is where he got the name from, and then Smash Splash was the following time. Yeah, I think and people yeah. were like, because during that set, they were like, dude, he beat Plup. He could totally beat Zane. Or beat up, beat Levin. Mm. And then it happened. Right. But um, but he was def. I remember knowing about Zane when he beat Plup. You're, you're just smart and t- yeah. you're all over the place. You're you get your ear to the ground. The rest of the world is like, who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People were talking about him in NBA for a while. I'm, sh- I'm sure. I'm sure. Northern <laughs> Carolina. They're like, you heard the Zane guy from next door. <laughs> Dude, North Carolina does not like interact with NBA that's, at that's all. That's fair. I wouldn't want them to. <laughs> They're just like, nah. What region are they? What is that? North Carolina? Yeah. yeah. It's its own region. <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, us. That's that's right. It's not oh, even yeah. Carolinas, right? It's just. Yeah. Like, we would ha- interact with the. Uh, so, so you avoid South Carolina completely. Yes, South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina yeah. so Get out of here. Georgia's cool. It's like three and a half hours away. So, yeah. like, big tournaments, there's some cross pollination a little bit. Sure. And then there's fiends from Tennessee. <laughs> there's absolute <laughs> fiends from Tennessee. Especially fucking Dan. Is there nothing in Tennessee? Dude, Tennessee doesn't have, didn't have a weekly. <laughs> 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 Any neighbor. <laughs> they're fucking going. They're packing the clown Boys car did it. Well, there's Memphis, and Memphis has a scene. Mm. Mainly Iori, top, you know, top 100 level player. Name difference. Not actually. Fighter's character. Um, but, like, Dan's played Iori a middle, million times. Like, he's from central Tennessee, which is probably, like, two, three hours from Iori. <laughs> but then you go, like, six hours the other way. Or, no, it's probably more like eight hours, nine hours uh-huh. to tournaments in North Carolina, and then you go like six to Atlanta. And this dude is a fiend, dude. Den is the man, though. I fucking yeah. love Den. Den? Who's Den play? Fox. Fox. Fox, man. You pro- he's a go- travels to everything. You've probably seen him on stream who's, at some point. Who's cooler, him or Fortune? Ooh. Oh, uh, Den. Okay. Nice. Den takes the dub here. Takes the dub. Uh, Tennessee nice. dub? Takes dub. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Den, uh, fucking last time I saw him was at Momocon. It was like the last day. I can't believe you went to Momocon. Catch him at Momocon. Dude, I just fucking happened to be in Atlanta for a day yeah. with a day to kill. I was like, Momocon's happening. <laughs> Shouts out to Momocon. I don't think they refunded anyone. Oh, this year? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so a bunch of people took like fit photos and were like, Momocon day one. Oh, dude, I saw that too. That's actually. awesome. Everyone's like, yep, uh, you know, wish I was there. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird refunding thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's lost. A- anyway, so, so I'll get off track. But Zane, Zane's your man. Zane is I, the, Zane's the most impressive to me. 
So, so Crush beats Zane and then has this tight set with Mango that I think a lot of people remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one of, one of like two. Uh, tight, and then yeah. loses to someone respectable, I think. But in the same round, IBEW makes it all the way through losers to lose to Taco Kids. To make it, who makes it in the top twenty-four? This is your oh. god. <laughs> I love, people be, and just, beating people so just fun. going through like the twenty sixteen pools. It's like, oh lol, but it's like, oh shit, they were good then. Yeah. I can't laugh at them being there. You know, that's when Taffo was Mango's coach. True. <laughs> that was that time. Crazy. Crazy. Mango fact. <laughs> it's like it's like a bu- I forget what that. it is, but it's like a bunch of like random it's people you one. never expect playing to make it in top twenty-four, and then one of them just like KJ H my case. It's like, oh okay, that would make sense. Yeah. That's more like yeah. It. That's 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 common error. Yeah. <laughs> this Tafo fucking IBD guy. I don't fucking <laughs> IBD guy. Also, IBDW beat Hat in his pools. Oh, crazy! <laughs> wow, what a win. <laughs> also, Nagy. Mm-hmm. I know about Nagy. Like, yeah, yeah. But, but, but probably Hat. didn't know about Nagy in 2016. Nagy was the two seed. And IBDW beat him round one. In the pool. Because okay. IBDW was like was unseated. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> IBDW plays team. in the round one that like three people are in. And just bodies his round one and then beats Nagy. And then just wins the pool. Dag. He definitely like saw the Sebastian G and was like, lol. <laughs> <laughs> who's Nagy? <laughs> yeah, he's like, who's Nagy? Why am I seeing so low? Sick. Sick. I've been, I've been so, you know, I feel like a lot of the cars like, in, that I went, I was in, courtesy of Patty, um, going to events, going to majors, like in that, in that time, there's always, we're always with someone in the car who is just underseated, crazy, and we're yeah. always like, this is funny, like, fuck, fuck them up, king. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me like, j- j- I remember Jason being like, dude, I'm five dollars on the pound 2016, like, uh, yeah. Like, uh, Smash, what do you call it? Smash roster? Fantasy. Smash, fantasy, draft. fantasy, yeah. Like, I'm five dollars, and I'm like, let me revise my list real quick before it closes. <laughs> gonna buy Jason real quick. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Calvar, it's like, oh, he's gonna play Nintendo. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for that one. Mike, I remember pr- being, being in the car with Project on our way to, I think it was a Nebs. He, he was the eighth seed in his pool. And That's he's like, awesome. I'm the eighth seed? And Rosin's the ninth or the seventh in the same pool? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so sick. It's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Fucked up. Well, there was well, definitely some fucking criminal things done to us in that car. God, Nebs. Do, do you guys have any, like, specific seeding stories, like, for yourself? Where you've been like, or I keep like, what are you, you seeded? What, what, what's going on here? I mean, obviously I do. Yeah, but when... Obviously, share. Yeah. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> I mean, uh, the w- one of them that I remember because it was a good player was playing against Ark, round one at uh, it was that Texas tournament that you went to. Oh, but my favorite yeah, one, that, that pizza bar. We can't remember the name of it, but it was a it was a pizza place. It was the red interior was all red. They had a biker interior. They had slot a machines. Bar. They had slot machines. machines in there. They had a bar. Yep. And they played the same like five rock and roll songs on loop the entire yeah, time. Yeah, just Guitar Hero two soundtrack. Oh my god, <laughs> it was so Bad. sick. That's all you can ask. Yeah. Um. But I played Ark round one, and he was like, he played Falco game one just because he was like, oh, random. Yeah. And then I like last stalked his Falco, and I didn't know who Ark. It was Ark. At the sure. Time. You're just like yeah. you're in there for the first time. Yeah. And then uh, the Marth comes out, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, I, I still, like, I was really good against Marth at the time, so I think I, like, two stock or I got two stocked by him. Yeah. I was just like, that Marth is really You put up a fight. It's competitive. And then he was like, Dylan! <laughs> Who <I'm> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want a heart attack yeah. round one, dude. <laughs> this guy can play. That's hilarious. Yeah. Excuse me, T.O., man. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not too bad. Any Colorado um, stuff or something like that? Colorado, one time I, w- I was completely unseated and then beat, um, what, like, a, a, a Colorado-ranked Ice Climbers player entered with a wave bird, because he's like, oh, I'm going to meme on my, my round once. And then we played the Samus Ice Climbers, and I was up, uh, I was, it was 1-1, and then he switched to a real controller, and then I beat him. Oh. And then I'm like, oh, who's this kid? But uh, there was a very funny story where we went to some fucking... New York tournament, some Long Island one. I can't remember the fuck. It was the one that was all named after peppers. It wasn't ghost peppers. Ghost, go, it was a ghost something, yeah. It was, it was one Chilean of ghost tournament. Yeah, it was one of those. And I went, and I was like, oh, lol, I'm seated to go 0-2. I'm going to fuck up these people. And I played, like, some dude who beat Hacks, and then some dude who beat someone else in Losers, and I went 0-2, and I was like, 
fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> fucking went 0-2. It I, happened. I was like, fuck. They were right. And then I, uh, I entered amateur's bracket, and it took the same seating. I was like, fucking seed to go 0-2 in amateur's, too. I'm like, they're probably right. New York's crazy. <laughs> so I got, like, super drunk and had some weird story in a college bar. Anyway. Uh, but cool. I got drunk. And then uh, I come to play amateurs, oh, and I'm just, I'm just ruining amateurs. I'm just, yeah. like, bodying these people who just aren't that good. Uh-huh. Um, and I play a, a Samus player in winter semis, and I was going Fox at the time. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Oh, that's, yeah, you like doing that. Yeah, and we were playing best of five, and I went up, up 0-2, and then we went to game five, and I switched to Samus, and he's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? And I went Samus and beat him, and he was like... You're what? Like, like, Trump card. <laughs> yeah. And at the end, I was like, I'm main Samus, by the way. He was like, what the fuck? Oh, it's like, I'm main Samus for this whole time playing in New York. Man, I'm clearly a nerd guy. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm doing hella well. And I'm in Winter's Finals, and then Ted comes up behind me. And Ted's like, hey, the weeds rolled. And I was like, cool. Pause. Good games. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm DQing. You win. I'm out of here. Yeah. He's like, Really? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, dude. It's I'm, I'm probably standing there like, thank God. <laughs> this is sick. This is optimal. <laughs> thank God. I don't know. Wait for this fucker. And yeah, then right. we smoked me the map of the tournament. <laughs> cool. But yeah, that was my story of unseated. What about Mike? I know, like. No! Yeah, hold on. <laughs> like, C- COF, you're playing against people that never even played the game competitively, <laughs> and you're playing Ice Commerce at that time. Did you wobble anyone who was like, what the fuck is happening right now? That's why I'm at Comb. Oh, that's sick. He's like, I thought this was a for fun tournament. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this, <laughs> I'm like this, this is my first, I don't know how to wobble, so I'm just like learning or whatever. And he was like, like, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and yeah, that's it, I guess. Yeah, how about, how about uh, other person being unseated? And then you'd be like, all right, cool, I'm going to body this random. And then they turn out to be like, someone. I, I don't know if that, I don't know. There's definitely moments where I've probably been like, I don't know who this is. And then I play them, I'm like. Yeah, this is fucking way better than me. <laughs> and I get my, <laughs> get my ass beat. For uh, me, that's Shmulei. Shmulei? Dude, played Shmulei round one at BP, like his first tournament, in which he like popped off. Right? Yeah. Um, and I got like lost to him round one, and I was like, God damn Fuck me. Yeah, I, I hate was, like, that feeling. Fuck, like that guy wasn't even that good. Like he was like, okay, but like whatever. Um, and then he like uh, beat whoever was after me. <laughs> he like, <laughs> like, like beats like Spiff after or something. I think it was like Heat. Yeah, and just like, it's like, Oh, I was probably gonna lose that. Like, uh. <laughs> Shmila's got a squad. And all you, right. uh, you lost to him, and mm-hmm. then you came up to me at the TO desk. Mm-hmm. And you're like, what's up? I, I already saw that you lost. I was like, what's up? And he's like, yeah, it wasn't even that good. And I was like, you know, he's ranked in New Jersey. He's like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and, then, ran, and then, like, what? And then, like, <laughs> 10 Jersey seconds sucks. later, and 10 seconds later, you're like, is he really ranked in New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's really good. And that, really good. that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're suddenly like a little bit less mad. <laughs> Listen, all, all I'm still like kind of mad. Yeah, you took that 10 seconds to be like, yeah, okay, all right. I could have beat him, which is good. I'm glad my Shmuel occurrence was the other way. Where I was, I was in uh, Losers Round like 2 of Mass Madness after losing a tight set to like, Ian in fucking Puff Peach. How do you lose that? Woo-hoo. You're Fuck exhausted. Me. I, I was like, oh god, this fucking sucks. Yeah. And then Shmuley walks up, and I'm like, okay, you know, I've seen these guys before. They're just fucking. Shmuley really squad. Uh, well, I don't like, know. Squad. I, I, I don't know who. I don't know who he is. I don't know how good he is. I have no idea. I don't know who his tag is. I just sit down, sit down at the fucking thing, and then it's like, game one and two, owning his Falco. Can he switch to fucking? Can he go? You know, as a puff player, and we yeah. might get this too as a Samus player, but like you. You know, they, they pick, you both pick the same time. They pick fucking... Sheik or something. Yeah, oh, something. I'm so mad if we pick... If you pick Fox and I pick Samus, and then you, you go change. Sheik, I'm so mad. Yeah. I'm missile camping you so hard. That's by far the mo- thing I'm most mad about. Because, bro, if we're on fucking online, you don't get that. Uh, anyway. Actually, I'm, I'm remembering my thing wrong. He, um, he actually was a gentleman about it, and he was like, we both picked at the same time. And it was Fox Falco, and he was like, and he made Falco, and he's like, okay, like we're doing it. Play game one, play game two. Saw some, saw some. Game three, he picks Fox. Four stalks me, and I go, wait a minute, are you good at the game? What? <laughs> game game four, tight, beats me. Game five, extremely tight, beat him. And I walk out there, and I'm like, man, I was fucking choked to that no name. And then I'm commentating <laughs> with Patty or Michael or someone. It might have been me. Somewhere in the booth. I told you. I think I told you. 
I remember it from Mr. Heat. Yeah, Mr. Heat good. stormed into the booth. You might have said it too, but I think Mr. Heat maybe hit me more because if you were like, "Oh yeah, that guy's good," I'm like, "Okay, like better, better than Ted, cool." Mm. When he comes in, he's like, "Brian, that guy's good." I'm just like, "Heat." <laughs> no, why? Thank you. I don't know who that is. Good news. <laughs> which which person was that? But uh, I don't know. We, we you all always get a surprise in either way when you're placing a, playing against a random. You know. Mm-hmm. Last story on this. I went to a lost. Uh. And this was a big lost. And for some, I think like G Town was helping seed or something like that. Matt Zeb went to that one. Matt Zeb was okay. Someone was helping seed that wasn't me because I was like, no, I'm here to fuck around. You know what I mean? I'm not here. I, to I seed. just know Matt Zeb and a bunch of people like went to that one. Yeah, there was so, 50 people in the tiny ass lost venue. Yeah, so I'm there and I'm just like playing randoms and you know at lost at that time it's like a, a 14 person tournament and mm-hmm. all the people who are there. there? Zach's definitely there. Is Zach there playing Young Link? Also, who's there? Uh, Shwarma King, not Lean Goy. Shwarma King? Shwarma King is there. But Pretty Good is there. Low key, like that tag better. So, literally. Is Shwarma King? I like Shwarma King. I agree. King. Literally, anyone who plays the game, I know who they are. Because we're in fucking Lancaster, Mass, and I know who I'm going to body. So, I see someone I've never seen before. I'm like, hey, you want to play friendlies? He's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> So they down and play, and he plays Ice Climbers. I'm like, all right, I can't wait to fucking play Ice Climbers sandwich with this random kid. Oh, yeah. And uh, he proceeds to just do some gnarly fucking chain grabs, not wobbling me. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, oh, this kid's like sick gimmick. I'm like, how long have you been playing? He's like, bro, I just literally sit in my room and fucking just grab box and just do this all day. I'm like, this is sick. So we're playing, and I'm like, oh, he's actually good. Mm-hmm. You know, because before he's just like grabbing me sometimes doing that. And I was like, me like, G Town, do you know who this, or Matt, do you know who this is? He's like, no. And I like got up. I was like, okay, we need to see him at least Bring above me. Mm-hmm. Like Bring he's definitely up. above me. And then he he goes off at that tournament. I think it was the first tournament Robbie ever entered. No, because he pretty had, good. He had done well at loss before. I think that was his first loss. Really? Yeah. Or he did well at loss after. I don't know. And maybe it, maybe it was like an ancient know. lost, but it was definitely like post loss being a tournament that New England people go to. Because I started going every week. Yeah. I was like, I'm coming for the But the you cool didn't boys. go at the beginning. That's true. That's true. There was definitely a decent amount of loss that was like 10 people. Yeah. Second it hits like nine, I think I'm entering the premises. Yeah. And then there was like some <laughs> people were like, oh, there's a tournament going on. I'm driving an hour and 20 minutes mm-hmm. every day. But yeah. Good times. Good every- times in New England's history. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty good now. Fucking crazy. Yeah. Won the Arcadian. Yeah. If you're unaware of some New England shit. And also... Um, DQ'd out of the Invitational for striking Wobbling and in, 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 in a, in a no, political protest against Wobbling. And let me say, it worked. It was sick. <laughs> it was sick. So <laughs> one of these podcasts, one of these podcasts, we relive the Invitational. Oh, I would love oh, to. How drunk do you have to get? <laughs> <laughs> me, and, me and Ryan. Accurate. Do I need to take off my clothes and mm-hmm. uh, jump in Ted's bed or something? Or <laughs> what, what do I have to do? Me and, uh, me and Ryan did a stream promoting the merch when it went live. <laughs> my last stream. That's my, that's my last stream. And we, so we go live, and then I have the idea. I'm like, oh, let's do a shot for every single product. And Ryan's like, that's a great idea. So we start doing <laughs> shots. <laughs> and we're like seven shots in. He's like, how many products are there? I'm like, I think there's like 20 something. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I disconnected from the Discord call because I got blackout drunk. And I was like, I cannot be on the stream anymore promoting this. Get and then Ryan it. fell asleep on stream. <laughs> <laughs> and then streamed the 24 hour stream. That vod's gone, by the way. Why? <laughs> It was so I woke up the next day and I was like, Patty, oh well. <laughs> like, do you know what happened last night? It's like, nah, it's like, dude, we fucking. Is there footage of you just like sitting on your computer not realizing? There's, there, there was. What would you say? There's, there's a, uh, there was a, at the time, he was sleeping and I was just calling him, watching the stream. <laughs> and I'll hear his phone in his room. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna call him until he answers. And it was like, Probably like 25 to 35 minutes of me and Eric just watching <laughs> Ryan being asleep on stream and be called. That's after I fell asleep, blackout drunk, slept it off, woke up at like 3 a.m. I'm still sleeping. Still I'm sleeping, sleeping, still streaming. I'm, st- I'm still streaming, I'm still on it. I was. God, good times. Thank, Content, baby. The only, the only problem with it, like as far as like any rules being broke, was I like, I like went to my bed like in my underwear. That's a game. Thank God nothing else happened. I, I just took off the right amount of clothes, 
I fucking just jumped in bed, and it was fucking, it was, it was dandy. You're was drunk enough that it was good. It was fun. I fucking <laughs> passed out. Yeah. Um, that lead up to the Invitational, though, was so fun. Yeah, it was That awesome. was, like, such a dope lead up. Like, it was promo super sick. You did a great yeah. job. We were all involved in some way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Forgot. Yeah, that's that's why we are. About. We were all involved. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was Hog. good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Good little, good little parts. Yeah. Me, you, and Project Stream. You remember that? Yeah. That was a fun, fun little stream. If we, uh, if we ever do another one, I think that's the greatest time for us to. I would hope we would. Maybe when we're out of this mud. Of course. Out of what? Quarantine. Do we want to move on? Do we want to talk quarantine? Like we can. Um, I want to talk about mango, mango, right? Yeah. Do uh, mango? mango. Uh, so, I guess. And this can be uh, this can certainly be argued, but like, I think right now it's actually easier to get really good than it was back then. Okay. Mm. We have way more tools now that can assist you in that grind. Now it's not a substitute for you actually being good at the game, but like, if you truly do grind a lot right now, like Zane, let's say Zane, the argument maybe let's say if let's take Cody out of here, Zane versus Mango. Mango's 2007, 2007 uh, rise, Zane's rise in 2016 or whatever. Um, 17, 18, recent years. Like, Zane had a lot more tools to actually get there. So if we're talking about the most impressive rise, I'm thinking that although Mango was playing Jigglypuff, it was still, <laughs> it was still Mango who was able to overcome all these players in like, just straight out out playing them and beating their what they've been doing because that's kind of before all like tech skill essentially like as we know it mm. like there was some stuff but, like not really as much mm-hmm. and I think a lot of the game back then and this is you know a theory I would I I, I play back then it's a game theory I don't right? have it's a, it's a theory it's a game theory thanks for watching thanks for watching Cut for. <laughs> but uh like Mango had to actually outplay the best players in the world at a game they were sick at. In a sure, in a strictly uh, mental way, in a neutral way. That is true. Whereas now, I feel like you know, if you're Zayn and you want to beat Hbox, extremely hard task. Not you know, maybe not comparable to it, but at least you can grind out the follow ups off grab on Puff, and you can know, and zane has been a very good proof of this that if you practice it enough, once you get that grab, you can get that follow up every fucking time. Like you grind it out, you had the you the tech. Mango for the longest yeah. time, Mango has had that technology, and just until recently, he didn't know you could in Uncle Punch reset a position. He was still walking over the fox by pushing into them by walking <laughs> to set them up into the position and then start the combo. And then when he fucks up and succeeds, the you know restart the match, the whole the whole B brings you back, and he fucking walks him over again. Does the same thing, like. Does he do it now? Does he use the assist shake? I mean, he doesn't really do that kind of nerdy practice on stream. So, I like to assume he does do the save states. Mm. Um, I don't know that for a fact. And that, that stuff I'm sure he does off stream and just kind of like grinds on his own. Mm. I think Mango is unfortunately a victim to the time frame where he got good. And I think Leffen is also a victim of this. Like, I, I think if Leffen had unlimited money as a 14-year-old, and could go over to the fucking U.S. as much oh as he wanted God. to. I think I think there would be a, a much better argument for him because he, he became number two in Sweden so fucking quick. Yeah. And it's like we, you know, he went over to the U.S. and didn't do phenomenal. I think he got like forty fifth at one of the Genesis or thirty third or something like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe, that no, I think, got, I think he got seventeenth at Genesis two. Mm-hmm. I think that was his first. Yeah, term in the he US. made it into top thirty three. Yeah. Yeah. Or top 32, which means... That exactly. And, it, like, that's the only chance he got. He didn't get a chance for a while, and then it wasn't as big. But I think Mango's also kind of a victim of this, to where, like, may- maybe this is the doc kind of dominant, dominating the timeline of Melee. But in my mind, like, you know, Azen dropping off, Ken not being as involved, Hugo getting number two at Evo. Like, things like this just set it up to where there's, there's more blemishes blemishes on Mango getting to the top than, like, IBDW just kind of trying to rise, or saying trying to rise. Like, him, if he if he was number one at EVO 2007, this would be a lot easier in arguing for Mango. If he was number what do you mean? If he got first. But yeah. I think the fact that, like, he didn't actually get, like, a really 
big placement first, I think that matters. But wouldn't you also say, Patty, that um, being like we're talking about the biggest rise, he made it to number to, 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 to the, the highest level. He made it to number one. He made it and he held it. He he's the goat. Uh, made it and held it. Like like so. Let's think of it in RuneScape levels. We're all familiar with RuneScape levels. I do know of RuneScape. Like, you can get to level ninety eight in fucking fire making, and that's a really good achievement. But now you have to do half the work you just did to get there, to make that next level. And I think in melee top in melee in the melee top echelon, it's kind of like that. We're like you can definitely. With all your practice, hit the top 20, top 15, top 10 rank. If you want to push into, like, god territory, like Axe, Leffen, and Plup, and, like, all those guys, you have to be insane. And that's not something you can just do normally. Yeah. That, that would be my argument again. And Mango did it. Mango made that, that jump. He did that one placement in, in his fucking Evo. Didn't they get, you know, wasn't number one in the world. But shortly after, would get there so I, I think Zane's ran I think it's both both of amazing arguments and I'm not going to argue against Zane as far as like he can't be number one like yeah. yeah they both have amazing arguments for it personally I just think the more resources you have the easier it's going to be Mango had to figure out the game in his own way to get where he was he invented his own play style he's a place that inspired so many thus far I think that is more impressive. Empirically, Zane might be better, but if we're talking the most impressive, I think Mango got it. Yeah. It's a fair argument. Yeah. And uh Thank if you. you if you I'm, like, not, I'm not a dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoy uh you know serious thought out content kinda like this, uh expect more in a top ten format. <laughs> expect more coming to the uh the Austin Melee channel soon. Uh, I'll give you a promise right now. I think it'll be up before our next podcast. Nice. I don't know about our next Amano, but pretty cool. confident in that. And it well, won't be this video. It'll be the commentators thing, but yeah. I'm excited. That sounds cool. Um, I think we have some chat questions. I'm going to wrap it up. Cool. Sounds bueno excelente. That is fun. Um, I think he's got one on the Twitter, Patty. Cool. Run it. I can read it off to us. From from one of someone that we all Hate. know and love. Okay. Who is it, Ryan? Well, let's start with someone else we all know and love. Good, good old, good old w- w- Weenid. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Mary? I don't know how you pronounce Weenid. I think it's Weenid. Weenid. Like Mary on Facebook? Yes. Yeah. Um, how sick are y'all of seeing Hbox's Campbell ad? Um, I don't... How much Twitch have you seen? Oh, well, I use Adblocker. <laughs> you use Adblocker? So you don't see it at all? No. So you're fine with it. Yeah. On my laptop oh, back then, I don't have an ad blocker. It's a work laptop, so it's like I just don't want to install anything. And um, uh, I see that ad a lot, and I think it's kind of funny. And I'm not... My, my, uh, fucking my, Patty, you seeing this ad at all? The, the <laughs> Hbox's mom? I don't know what's good with my algorithms, but I, at this point, I think I watch Twitch more than I, I have in recent times, just from running these tournaments and like watching Twitch all day yeah, yeah. From, mm-hmm. the, from those. I've only seen it like once or twice. And the one the time I saw it, I was like, oh, this is fucking it. Wow, I'm really seeing this on fucking mm-hmm. Twitch right now. And it was like a thing for me. It wasn't just like a, you know, oh, I'm seeing this again. Yeah. I think I've seen it a billion times. And I, I do think it's funny. And um, I, they have recently uh, saved, tweeted out a copy pasta in this chat. It was so good. Where it's like, Mott Money is in need of a major comeback. It's like the entire script for the uh, thing. <laughs> But just plug in your player you want to win. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, it started, out, it started with this, this dude Tokage who was just doing well against Reeve, and they was like, Tokage needs a comeback, and they're just spamming it all day, and then that became just like talking about Tokage's mom. <laughs> and I was like, dude, Tokage's like, save has like an armada in boat, so it's like Tokage's mom did what? <laughs> and, like that. and then Tokage comes, back, comes into the stream, is like, do you guys like me? I can't tell. <laughs> So to answer your question, we did we, we um we, we like no, if, we, if we see the ad we like it, and most of us don't see the ad. So in our books, keep doing it. Hasn't become annoying to me yet. Uh, okay, next up we have Jesse, who is the and I want to emphasize this smartest player in New England. Hmm. So does he mean this in in game or out of game? Michael, it's up to you. 
I don't know. <laughs> I will tell you this. Question. He said, who do you think is the smartest player, player in Uga Mele? The smartest player. The smart, not the smartest human okay. being. No, no, no. Who, who is who is the smartest, smartest player in not capitalized New England? Okay, so capitalized. Not a million in there. Just New England. England capitalized. New not. Interesting. New Hampshire. Um, I have an answer. Okay. Tara Masu. And I'm gonna say it, it's strictly because I think in order to be smart while playing melee, you need to be unbiased. And I think so many people are so hard at that, like living in the moment type deal, to where it's just like, oh fuck, bro, I, I this is all happening in this match, and this is all getting for me right now. I think, I think fucking Max is one of the people who is just like almost unaffected by what has happened in the set leading up to whatever moment, and I think that makes him the most smartest, because like the most, <laughs> most smartest, the most smartest. Because at any My point, answer is Patty. <laughs> at any for point, saying most smartest. <laughs> thank you. At any point, I feel like he's completely unbiased and can approach the scenario like, I'm playing melee and I'm smart about this still, as opposed to most people who can be smart about it but just like let emotions dominate how they how they're playing. You guys, what are you? What are you guys I think Rhodes, but that might just be because he's Fox Senpai. I was literally gonna say Joy Boy. Mm. I'll do my second answer. It's Yasu. No, Yasu's the best. Smart. It's Joy Boy. Joy Boy Boy. You, you, you can say Joy Boy. I, uh, if we're doing this, I, I think Tiramisu is the best hey. answer. I, gang, gang, gang. Mm. So we're going to have to fight him. <laughs> Tiramisu is so... Oh, a slap. Just, and I think a part of what, what I value in being a smart uh, player is, like you said, it's kind of the, the honesty and like the just being very clear. Mm. Like He's just... I, I think he has... Maybe I'm confusing mentality with, with being uh, smartest. But, like, mm. Tamasu really, like, I think he thinks of this game in a great way and in a, in a, ga- in a perfect way as far as, like, he may not ever get to the top necessarily or whatever, but, like, he will always enjoy playing this game and he will always play this game for the enjoyment of it. Mm-hmm. He reads his like, like, that's fucking smart to me. It's like Melee is a debate and he's just so good at debating whatever point. Yeah. He's Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, Terms the Ben Shapiro of melee. Terms Does he have a sister? <laughs> Does she have dude, dude, dude. Ben, ben Shapiro's <laughs> videos go. Uh, uh, her sisters okay. go. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, no, they don't. No, they don't. Fuck for me, thing. smartest in why I think Joy Boy is because Joy Boy is just so studied in the game, mm-hmm. and he just knows so much about the game, and he has answers to almost yeah. every scenario, and he understands the options in every scenario, like in such a depth. Mm-hmm. That I think Max doesn't necessarily. Um, obviously, this is like pea brain looking up, but uh, I mean, all, yeah. for, all, for all of us, yeah, for all of us. But then, the way that Max thinks about the game is just like super cool. Like it's super interesting the way that he like, and the way that he analyzes the game, and the fact that he's just like always trying to identify scenarios that he can react to and play the most reactive and movement based and such that as he can that's super cool but i think rose mm-hmm. is just his like pragmatic defensive like fox it's just i think calvar's also up there too calvar too as, as far yeah. as someone who like really, really thinks a lot about it he's like top him. three probably for me zoso's yeah. up there for me too yeah yeah to argue your point i think uh joy boy is really good at being unbiased when he plays someone quote unquote better than him I don't okay. think he necessarily lets that type of mentality get to him. And I he, think stacks, Max, he stacks behind that, too. I think Max is probably un, more unbiased, but I don't think that's necessarily smarter. I mean, I, well, I would yeah. say, like... That's a good point, yeah. But, but who, who would be Max's best win? Like, Joy Boy's beaten Swedish Delight. Who Tiramisu has. Is that, is that the question? <laughs> well, I, 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 well yeah. what I'm saying, like, as far as, like, being unbiased in who you're playing against, like, as far as that gap goes, oh, okay. Joy Boy has, like, yeah. took, has taken that unbiasedness in a bigger depth, you know, like you're Swedish delight, you're not. You you are a chic player. I'm a fox player. I'm going to dash dance camp on the platform and she'll drop there. I know my plan. Okay. I know what you can do, and I'm gonna fucking all for it. I think they're both good answers. I, I yeah, yeah they, they are, are both good answers. Two other people come to mind: Sai. I think Sai. <laughs> I think Sai approaches every scenario like a chess game, and whether you think his answers Jesus to those chess moves are right or not, I think he is the most unique of like the top <laughs> ten smartest people. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the gimmick player of a, of a top ten smartest fighting game. Yeah, <laughs> and I will always consider him uh, consider him New England in our hearts. Scribble. 
I think Squirtle is, is, is one of those people who thinks smart about the game. He is very smart. <laughs> For some reason, the idea that screams in my head that is not correct. <laughs> Admiral <Gel>! Zhao! <laughs> <laughs> Why? If you're watching he's, he's, he's a dumbass. <laughs> but man, he reads jumps. I just talked to him, but he, it is his charge shots. He's just he's a smart guy. Thumbs up. All right, more questions. Um, what's your favorite move in the game that's considered bad? Bad move in melee that you question. fucking love. Uh, it's a hard for me because all Fox's moves are good, but I'll say of nobody considers it bad, but of the worst Fox moves, I'd say probably F tilt. F tilt. I think it's a bad answer, honestly. So, like you said, they're all good. What about yeah. Sheik or a Ganon or your other fucking characters? You just have a two frame forward tilt. Anyone? I don't like any of those moves. I have like nine there. answers to I this. like the Fox ones a lot. <laughs> Alright, so F, F, F. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Hey. Say ice blocks. You do love ice blocks. Good or ice blocks are tight. Uh, ice climbers up tilt is fun too. Mm. That's a good move, though. Is that a good move? Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Really? What infinite the numbers. Move? Yeah, infinite numbers. Yeah, they That's why really infinite numbers became good. I can show you like a million sets with that moves and like not used once. I can show you a million sets where they're not using that move. Yes. I doubt that. I don't think so. I, mean, I, I have also, a mission for next episode. Please, please, <laughs> while you're doing this, go back and watch uh, Jason's uh, uh, run at smash time. pound pound run. Sweet. Because I swear to God, he gets so much up tilt grabs. You know what? And even in Summit. He gets on uh, yeah. rest balls. He gets that's, off He does do that. Dude, that's literally the Jason. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I changed my mind. It's not a bad move. I just don't. I wish I saw it more. It's yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's ice blocks. The way you use it is a good answer too. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you say, hey, never covering. It's like I'm just gonna cover. The Why not? <laughs> Sometimes it works. And Firefox beats ice blocks. I'm just still <laughs> do it. Beat side B at the end, or beat side B at the end. Yeah, if they're all out here, they're side beam for some reason. Yes! Uh, I'll go before you. I think uh, Peach's up tilt is fucking sick. Her little head I nod. Like Peach's up oh, tilt. my head. Up yeah, the, like, the like, like, there's so many, like, up throw, fucking up tilt is cool, and as well as down That's tilt, funny. up tilt is cool. Oh, yeah. uh, for my own character, uh, Samus's up air, I fucking love. Mm. Plup has come out and been like, honestly, I'd play Samus if her up air was good. Because the way Plup That's uses cool. up air, it's so cool against people who are worse than him. But the second someone can SDI, it's like a different game. True. And it's just like, ah, oh, fuck. That move becomes bad all of a sudden. And, um, oh, Luigi Taunt. I think Luigi Taunt is seriously, like, one of the coolest moves in the game. The fact that it's a taunt and has, like, a spike hitbox. Mm. And it's, like, an actual kind of I hate move. to admit that that thing is cool. Yeah. Like, but it's got a TF2 and mechanic. It's, and it's cool. So. Like, it's fucking <laughs> it dirty. You can wave dash. It does. You can wave dash taunt, and it's, like, a real thing. Mutagen was dirty at it. I think that move is it, fucking... That move is sick. It is super real. That's, uh, yeah. Teach yeah, yeah. just the same game. Yeah, it, it, this furthers my, <laughs> my analysis. I think a part of this, too, that I was really realizing is that it's your favorite. You know, your personal, like, what really like, you like about it. Um... I mean, for me, like, I obviously roll out comes to mind. Yeah. Roll, roll, roll out. But, roll, but I generally think roll out is a good move. I wouldn't, like, put it in this category of being a bad move. <laughs> but no, roll out actually, you know, does stuff. Um, That's uh, a good answer, honestly. That fits the criteria pretty yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And then beyond that, I would say, like, <laughs> I, I agree. I, I love Rishi's point that DK's down B is, like, four Falco shines. <laughs> that is so funny to me, and I, I love it. And I love, I love down, down B is cool. I, I oftentimes have yeah. to do it, but, like, you get on a platform and you down B, you literally... Where are they going to go? <laughs> you, you can get up attack, or you can get hit by it. Like, yeah. like that. that's, that's really it. So, that's it there. Um... Next up, we have Fuck Mary Kill. Real quick, real quick, oh. before that. Uh, kind of related. A save stream was theorizing why Peach's down smash is so good. Like, you know, in the lore way. Like, wh what does she have in there? Oh, And okay. then people brought up, it's like, oh, she has a toad. And it's like, I made the joke, like, oh, dude, toad is just DK down being. Inside? Yeah, uh, inside of her. Yeah, yeah, it's spinning. possible. And then the idea of, like, why, it's why like is It's like a it? weed whacker. <laughs> with toad just down. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's flinging him around, and he's just... <laughs> Good. It's just an optical illusion, but Toad's actually oh, just nice. like doing the work. But where where are her hands? Punching out. Maybe she's like in her dress, like swinging Toad around. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Or she has a sword. It's a ballerina trick, but under the dress. Mm -hmm. She's really on the ground. She or like knees out. I don't know. That, yeah, she gets low. She yeah, I mean, I guess there's no reason why it does that. It's that heavy, right? Yeah. Why? That why move, is it that big? That move shouldn't do much, but uh, I it fucking hate that move. It fucking does. I like that move. Eat my ass. Peach needs it. Fuck Mary Kill. Easy. Um, 
Oh, here's your, I think I'm gonna ask you this one. Like you're the first one to answer this. <laughs> you, you gotta off top of your head, off rip. Off right? dome, yeah. Fuck Mary Kill. Truly. Okay. White Claw. Oh, dope. Okay. Bud Seltzer. Bud Seltzer. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. So this goes. People are always like. Just Mary, you just get to fuck him all the time. Are we going by that rule, or is it just like you like that one the best? So Mike, you're you're the best. That's true. It's up to me. I'm gonna marry Bud Seltzer. Uh, I'm going to. I guess to me, marriage is like it's like a normal marriage. Like in the states of like our boomer parents, where marriage kind of your parents fuck all the time. Yeah. So like, <laughs> in my opinion, a boomer marriage where it's like you know you kind of like. The spark is there, you got the kids, you got the sex, and then it's like sex every like month, every six months, every okay. year, and then it's like, you know, you slowly, it's less physical. I guess. I, I, I think that's what makes it fair yeah. in the in the argument, where it's like, you're gonna fuck this guy. Yeah, that, you know what, that makes sense. In the beginning, <laughs> but like, in the end, it's gonna... Yeah, we're old with them. Yeah, yeah, eventually you're gonna want divorce, but your family's like, oh, the divorce is kind of bad, and you're like, oh, I lost my money, so also like, my kids. Yeah, so like, you stay together, and just really you just die together. Sir. Hey, real quick, uh, my parents were getting divorced, and as of this week, my parents are now getting back together. Please pog in chat for my parents. Hey! Actually, yeah. you know what's even better? Stock bong face. <laughs> stock bong face for my parents. For Mary. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, it's, um, it's good. It's good. So, I see it. I, I guess, see it. okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll marry, I'll marry, I'm going to marry Bud Seltzer. It's the one you're most intimate with. Yes. You know, it's the one you want to see every day. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to wake up next to. And I can grow old with Bud Seltzer. Yeah, because it, it's it locale, you know. So, <laughs> um, uh, truly sucks so bad. Kill truly, and then I'll deal with having like pity sex with White Claw. You know, that? I'm the same way, but I'm enjoying my one night stand with, with White Claw. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best of it. That's awesome. A oh, wild cherry or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Marry White Claw because I can drink it like water. There are plenty of flavors. Have you had Bud Seltzer? Yeah, I have. It's not. It's not okay. Kill Bud Seltzer <laughs> because wow, because I'm that's a, my wife. <laughs> I'm offended they'd even try to get in this game right now. I'm not. And the obvious fuck truly because I hope any girl I've ever had sex with is off a of truly right now. That just make what every sex I've ever had had would be better if it was just all involved with the truly. Why? White Claw probably worse. Bud Seltzer just don't even bring it. Bud up. Seltzer's so good. Man. Please, please do not touch me if you drink it. I can't Seltzer. believe you're losing your erection. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's gone. It's gone right now. They came into the game. game. Uh, I was thinking about truly, but no, it's gone. Bud <laughs> Seltzer. <laughs> they came into the game so late and they perfected the art. That's all I'm saying. Bud Seltzer's might... phenomenal. Cheers to that. No, this is empty. I'll say for myself, um, Truly's dead. Of this. Fuck truly. I don't Fuck know. Why, truly. I don't know why you're even. Truly's trash. Fucking around with truly. <laughs> truly's garbage. <laughs> um, I'll Bud Seltzer when the new girl in town. I'll fuck her. All right. <laughs> I'll fuck her. You 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 coming in? I'll fuck her. And what what calls around it? What call been around? It don't matter. She since day one. <laughs> I, been matter. I, agree. I agree. I agree. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna marry. There are better things. Claw. It's like White Claw's your high school girlfriend that you stay in connection with in, in college, and then fuck. and then you, she'll come over like occasionally because she's still in school or whatever she's somewhere else and you'll and you'll fuck, uh, but then you, you meet you meet somebody who changes your world, okay. and that's Bud Seltzer. <laughs> and I have any <laughs> any chat questions? Yeah, we do. Okay, okay. so I'll, I'll maybe I'll just save one for now. Sorry. No, that hits some like kind of like. More like is 2007 like Mango Puff more technical than 2020 H Box Puff? No. no, 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 not even remotely. You, you can't even no, not even close. Who has that? H Box Puff. Calvar. <laughs> Calvar? No, I, I, I might suck Mango's dick, but I will not choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not swallow. I will not swallow. I'm spitting. H um, H Box Puff definitely does more. And Mango Puff didn't do much no. back then, so it was fun to watch. No, there's guys, not a hard bar to clear. I you guys are wrong. You guys are wrong. No, I'm sorry. Wrong. We're wrong. I'm sorry. So although I agree, he he can 100% do the puff moves better. Mango doubt air rested. Like I think that alone makes him more technical. That is like literally one of the hardest things. And as well, and as well of constantly trying to go for rest out of shield, which I think is also a thing that hasn't been pushed. I think there are like one or two things, maybe three things that Mango did. In 2007, <coughs> excuse me, um, 
Here that we were uh, like unheard of at the time and, and very tactical that HBox still doesn't do, but everything else that HBox does is more tactical. Call, call me a non-believer, but I, I I think the fact that HBox like down air up smashes people isn't as technical as the things that Manga was doing then. No. Uh, and I think no, and I think that's one of the situations. And I think you can make a great argument that like being able to read scenarios and like the ability to like. I'm, I don't want to sim similarize it this much, but like being able to back air people in the scenarios that HBox does, mm -hmm. like is actually fully a talent and technical. The yes. fact that he can yeah. be in, like yeah. like read the scenarios that much is it's not the reading; it's the execution that he can do. Put the aerial exactly where he needs it when he needs it, and mm -hmm. then be where he needs to be after they get hit. But all I'm saying is, if you fucking if you rank, uh, what's that one dude who can do crazy fox stuff? Relno. Relno. If you fucking think Relno <laughs> so, is like as technical as Hax is, then Mango wins the argument. If we're talking Puff, Puff being yeah, more technical. Yeah, but I don't think Relno is the most technical fox. But I'm saying there's an argument. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I like I see your argument, but it's just like you're pulling, you you you're grabbing. J not subscribed. Tier one. Poggers. Hey. Give, give, give him some beers. Yeah. Give him some stock bong faces. Ah. Stock bong faces. Uh, some Dory Maze. Take Jay not. Yeah, and we have. Show. One more emo slot, so we'll see what we do. We're with that. Again, really? We we have had. Oh, yeah. we've had this third one. We we have a fourth one already. Go, ready to go. Um, I think that H Box Puff is more technical now. Um, I will say that it might be close. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> but, right. it's not, but it's not like, but like the, the way H Box plays is just there's a lot more technique. Yeah. Technique. In it. Than H than Mango is which was a lot of his punishing terrible options, mm -hmm. like Mango was playing in time where players were worse, uh, especially with being lazy on shield, so it was easier to rest out of shield. But I have to say that there's a lot of situations where H box still doesn't rest where Mango would have in 2007. True. Like yeah. the the standout example is up smash on shield. If I if the arg if the argument was if Mango and H box both play in the same realm puff. Till now, Mango's puff is way better than the H-Boxes. I don't know better, but technical, definitely. I wouldn't agree that way better. Okay. I mean, that, I mean that, that... I will. Yeah, outside that, the argument. That, 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 that's yeah. on so many different levels. Sure. Yeah. 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 More more technical, more... Yeah, more but More button. Yeah. And, and, but that's also, like, if he's not playing Fox and Falco, does he get more technical? Like, there's a lot of layers in that. Yeah, in the same way where I think, uh, think mid-level puffs would look a lot fucking different. Yeah, if Mango continued to play this entire Hell time. Yeah. I, also, a stat that everyone just forgot about and chooses to ignore: Hungry Box highest APM out of any top player. Really? Yeah. You guys haven't seen that? Highest? Not highest over Axe. Axe Ax is the highest. Really? Do you remember HTC Throwdown or whatever? I, I'm pretty sure someone's done this and Axe has been higher. Really? Okay, I remember the first time. Yeah, he, he might be up there. It's still safe. Hungry Box mm -hmm. was the highest APM player that the first one they ever did. I don't know if Axe was huh. there. Followed by Wizard. Mm -hmm. And, I wonder um, why. It's because he's very technical with the way he drifts, and yeah, he does yeah. very minute drifts, which it, is all inputs. It's the fucking these, fast falling. Yeah, and fast, fast falling is like, he's, so hard. To he's extremely technical. He like, also, I don't know if it affects it, but he L cancels with Z. So he does everything just, with Z. Yeah, he's constantly pressing Z. Yeah. It's a fun button. It's, it's a fun it goes button. click. But I, uh, I mean. Still, still up there. Yeah, but everyone just ignores that. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's just H box. Puff. Backer. Yeah. Backer. No, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, and that is kind of what I was bringing up. It's like, it looks like he's just back airing you, but yeah. it's not. Maybe, yeah. maybe a video idea. Top 10 highest APMs in Melee. When, yeah. There you go. Just for the fact that nobody would expect number one. And like, what's... literally no one would. No. <laughs> number one, H box. Yeah. That's why everyone, like, saw that and just, like, was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, we don't care about APM anymore. And then it was, like, a year or two years until someone was like, hey, maybe we should look at this again. Any more cues there? Our you? last question is directed at Mike and Mike only, although we can weigh our opinions. What? Mike, what is your favorite meat and cheese sandwich? My favorite meat and cheese sandwich? Yeah. Um, oh, no cheese. Fuck. <laughs> I took out one of the components. I was going to say BLT. Um, Wait, meat yeah. and cheese? What I'm saying is, there's no cheese at BLT. Meat, like a meat and cheese sandwich, like okay. a classic, like a like a ham and Swiss or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Steak and cheese. Uh, steak. That counts, right? Mm. Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese does count. And if you want to count cheeseburger, I guess that's up there too. But I'm gonna say steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. 
I get an Italian, I get an Italian sub from down the street uh, every so often. That's I love, I love an Italian sub. I have a steak and cheese in the fridge right now. It's my mama's, and they make a good one too when they make it right. <laughs> when they when they get your order right. Uh, what about you guys? That uh, question wasn't for me. I apologize. Well, I'm asking. He, he could weigh in, yeah. <laughs> Probably like uh, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but it's like the Greek subs where it's got like the or oh um the Italian it's like prosciutto and um the Mox. fresh mozzarella and the pesto uh, what's it called it's like a that's that's one of my favorite Capricola it, yeah it's yeah. it's yeah. an Italian salad, thing yeah Italian sub boys um Hi, Italian I really loved uh what's like the, yeah what's your favorite meat and cheese patty it's not like a it's it's not like brown turkey but it's the one that's like flavored roast beef like maple something what's ham honey it's like a honey, a honey turkey. ham. It's like honey turkey, but not honey ham. Okay, I, I think I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's like very common. But uh, <laughs> I, I used to eat that and provolone all fucking. That day. sounds awesome. Because I love provolone. It's just like whatever I could get with it's it. Great cheese. Yeah, I've been doing. A, I've been doing Swiss on burgers for a little bit, and I think Swiss on burgers is mad good. I think we should really yeah. Do also, burgers. secret favorite uh, sandwich that I really like: fucking hummus, smoked gouda, and then fucking turkey. That's the, the secret Ted sandwich. Do you have a name for it? Uh, secret Ted sandwich. No, okay, cool. you, know, you want to know what Sophie used to eat and, uh, when we went to college? Sure. Because we had terrible dining options. We had like scraps to eat, basically. Well, but, um, college food. Yeah. She would eat uh, a sa- whole wheat sandwich with um, peanut butter, hmm. honey, and lettuce. Wow. wow. Lettuce on there is really a, strange. A whole meal. <laughs> Because peanut butter and honey, honey sandwiches are like a thing. Honey and lettuce go together too. That's like a kind of a thing. People do that. It sounds like. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. They're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Indian right. inspired. He would. He might run with something. My friend Robert puts grapes on his cheeseburgers. That one's mm. freaky. That is fucking gross. I want explosive flavor. I, I, oh, so I nasty. Do, he says that too. He's like, the flavor just gushes into the back of your throat. It's, it's like, like fruit gushers. It's so gross. I think. Uh, I I think mayo is the best burger condiment. I um I do. I, yeah I, I don't I really want to believe that mayo's good with fries too. That's the pod. Yeah. We gotta end it. That's a yeah. boo. I yeah. agree with Patty. That's we gotta mayo's so gonna burn. before a fight breaks out. Mayo's fantastic. Uh, we're either gonna uh, raid our upstairs roommate if he's still streaming, or we're gonna raid maybe like a save or a netplay tournament. Save. Um, it's on him. If, if they're there, I mean, I'd love if our, if our upstairs neighbor is fucking streaming. I'd love to raid. Chat DM me your favorite meat and cheese sandwich on Twitter at Cavelumber. Wow. That's it. Me too. And DM him at uh, um, on Twitter. On Twitter at Cable. <laughs> oh, fuck. At Mariah. He K. dropped the cigarette. Ooh, Goodbye. Did, did actually? Let's see who's Okay, streaming. we're still going. <laughs> no, 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 it's just for full time, full time, full time, full time. Oh, um, I think a, pound for pound, the BLT is the best sandwich in the world, though. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's got enough flavor in there. Can we? I love can, we uh, r- can we raid? Uh, what's his face? Uh, okay. Let's say bye. Um, love you. Bye. Thanks for watching, bye. guys. Tune Smooches. Next week. Goodbye. I'm on one Monday. Woo! Suicide, suicide, suicide.